Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. On the occasion of Arab Orphans Day, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's care towards orphans in Bahrain and his keenness to provide them with all kinds of services. He also praised the role of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in this regard. His Highness affirmed that orphans contribute greatly to the society and affirmed that the Royal Humanitarian Foundation aims to provide them with all the services they need as well as hone their skills and talents in order to provide them with high living standards. RHF Sec Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his care and support. He also praised the leading role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his keenness to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for the Yazainal chaired the weekly meeting where the Council approved a draft law on insurance against unemployment. The Council approved another draft law allowing the creditor to file the grievance against the performance order equal to the debtor. It also approved a draft law on general budget. The Council then approved the following proposals, granting relatives of people with special needs of the first degree an urgent leave to take care of them during the suspension of studies, compensating the parents of people with special needs from the fees prescribed for the private rehabilitation centers after suspending the study due to the precautionary measures to combat the coronavirus, exempti exempting tenants of state-owned shops from the monthly rent for a period of three months, halting deduction of pension and housing loans installments for retired citizens without profits for a period of six months, postponing all installments of government loans to all government sectors. A press conference was held earlier to discuss the latest developments related to COVID-19. The CEO of Information and E-Government Authority, Mohamed al qad announced that the Be Aware app has been officially launched following the success of its beta, ver beta version, which has been tested by patients and volunteers across the kingdom. The application serves as a national platform with details on how to prevent the spread of the coronavirus as well as monitor active cases. Statistics are also updated on both the national and global levels. The application also follows up on the commitment of people at to home isolation through GPS tracking and alerts users should a person who has been in contact with an active case is in close proximity. He added that the health minister announced that those who do not wish to be in public quarantine should consent to downloading the app to allow home isolation. He called on all citizens and residents to be part of this initiative to prevent the spread of the virus. The Under Secretary at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Al Mana, stated that community partnership is key to overcoming the pandemic. He noted that the kingdom is ready for all circumstances and possibilities, underscoring the readiness and expertise of the national health cadres. He praised the work of the Ministry of Health as well as the precautionary measures of the Kingdom. He held the cooperation and awareness of the people of Bahrain by following instructions and assuming their responsibility towards their community. He affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is able to overcome such a challenge. He expressed thanks and appreciation to all the volunteers in combating this virus. The infectious diseases consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital and member of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Colonel Dr. Manaf al Gahtani, expressed pride in the health system of the kingdom, saying that it is one of the leading countries in terms of capacity and testing. He affirmed that there is still capacity for treatment, isolation and quarantine in the kingdom with no recorded shortage in any field. He also stated that Bahrain is one of the leading Arab countries that participated in the trial of the medication hydroxychloroquine and the kingdom continues to work in coordination with the WHO. He expressed thanks and appreciation to all medical cadres in the kingdom for their tireless efforts in ensuring the health and safety of all. He concluded that Bahrain is in the course of containing the virus successfully. The consultant of the infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, stated that the kingdom is actively working on containing the spread of the virus. She noted that there are 266 active cases, with the exception of two critical cases, while 295 cases has been treated and discharged. She also stated that health protocols are being updated according to the global updates and researches. She praised the awareness of the Bahraini community in eliminating the spread of the virus. The Ministry of Health stated that 47 of the existing coronavirus cases that were announced today were for migrants workers who had been quarantined after being in contact with an active case. After confirming the periodic lab test results carried out for those in quarantine, it was found that the tests of all 47 cases were positive. 
in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide medical care services of both testing and quarantine for all citizens and residents in Bahrain. The Ministry of Health will offer health care services and treatment for workers in isolation and treatment services. The Ministry of Health affirmed that it has taken immediate precautionary measures for all those who have been in contact with the workers. All cases have been placed under observation where tests had been conducted to ensure their safety. The workers' stay in quarantine will be extended for a period of two weeks according to the preventive measures followed. The inspection department at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism held extensive visits across hypermarkets and stores to monitor the market and prevent violations. The department decided to close down stores that violate the law and monitor those who are providing the products at a normal price and implementing the social distancing. The ministry affirmed that any violation will be subjected to law and urged consumers to report any violation they encounter. The Saudi Ministry of Health confirmed that the number of patients who were discharged after spending 14 days in isolation, whom their results were negative, reached more than 2,500 cases. The ministry indicated that all the cases that left were those who had completed the required medical procedures amid a follow-up from integrated medical personnel. It added that various services have been provided to patients, including communicating with them, sanitizing and counseling. The UAE Ministry of Health announced that it has conducted more than 220,000 tests in the country to detect those infected with the coronavirus in cooperation with the various health authorities in the Emirates in the framework of government efforts to preserve the health and safety of citizens, residents and visitors of the country. The UAE recently launched the Coronavirus Inspection Center from their cars in cooperation with the health department in Abu Dhabi. The center is the first in the country and the fifth of its kind in the world. According to an official at the World Health Organization, the number of new cases of coronavirus infections in Egypt suggests that transmission is limited to a few chains of infection. The coronavirus has been strong and adapted. Egypt has confirmed 609 cases so far and 40 deaths. In recent weeks, the government has beefed up precautionary measures to contain the pandemic. Measures include shutting down schools, restaurants and recreational facilities and reducing the workforce in public and private businesses. In addition to that, Egypt has imposed an 11-hour nightly curfew for its 100 million people. The response to the epidemic has been strong and adapted to the current situation. The number of new cases over time suggests that transmission is limited to a few chains of infections, and we've not seen a steep rise in the number of cases.